Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success, streaming now on Amazon Music. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just picked up your first guitar or you've been playing your whole life, Gator has everything you need. Gator is a one-stop shop for bags, cases, stands, hangers, guitar straps, power supplies, pedal boards, and more. There are hundreds of options created by a guitarist just for you. Check out GatorCO.com for all your guitar needs. Today's tip is three divine carols to play on your guitar. Christmas can mean many things. Decorating a tree, enjoying outdoor lights, gathering with family and friends, presents, music, yummy treats, and, of course, Jesus' birth. There are many spiritual songs that can be beautiful when played on guitar, and here's a few I thought you might enjoy. In this episode, I'll share three divine songs traditionally heard this time of year. I'll include their backgrounds and my playing recommendations. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in Algeria, Portugal, Indonesia, Mexico, and Switzerland. Don't forget about the December Gator Giveaway. You could win a prize package valued at over $350. And the package includes the popular 52-inch all-terrain utility cart, which is great for the -the on-the-go musician. And it also includes a Levy's guitar strap of your choice, courtesy of our friends at Gator. It's super easy to enter the drawing. Simply take a moment to participate in a short three-question survey and you'll be automatically entered. Go to the link that's in the show notes or go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. Entries will be accepted through December 22nd, 2022. The first song is O Holy Night, originally titled Cantique de Noël. It's based on a French language poem written by Placide Capot in 1842 and was set to music by Adolf Adam in 1847. The English version with small changes to the initial melody is by John Sullivan Dwight. This carol reflects the birth of Jesus as humanity's redemption. It has charted on Billboard's Holiday 100 and Adult Contemporary and has been recorded by numerous artists such as Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, and Josh Groban. It's generally thought to be one of the more difficult songs to sing because of its wide vocal range. To play this song on your guitar, you'll use the chords C, F, G7, E minor, B7, A minor, and D minor. It's written in a 6-8 time signature using 174 beats per minute on a metronome. But as always, I recommend that you adapt the tempo to your needs and playing style. 
I like to play this song using a 6-8 time signature picking pattern like the one you can find on my Thursday Tips blog, or if you'd prefer strumming, I recommend a simple strum. By the way, if you'd like to learn more picking patterns, try my online picking lessons. Next is the song, The First Noel. It's a traditional English Christmas carol with Cornish origins dating back to the 16th or 17th century. It was edited and published by William Sandys and Davies Gilbert in 1823. The word Noel comes from the French word for Christmas. The lyrics detail the events surrounding Jesus' birth and refers to the infant as the King of Israel. This song has charted in Billboard's Hot 100 and has been recorded by Whitney Houston, The Glee Cast, Johnny Mathis, and Loretta Lynn. To play this song, you'll use the chords G, D, C, and B minor. This song is a 3-4 time signature song, and I recommend you play this with a 3-4 picking pattern. But strumming is also pretty with this song. The rhythm pattern you choose, whether it's picking or strumming, simply depends on how you'd like to style the song. Try playing this one at 88 beats per minute. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my unlimited lessons and classes and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. The third song is the sweet and tender carol, Away in a Manger. There is some confusion as to the origins of this song, but credit goes to William Kirkpatrick and James Ramsey Murray's song, The Cradle Song, in 1887. There is some information that indicates J.E. Clark and Charles Gabriel composed a new version, including a third verse, in the late 1800s. There's also mention that Martin Luther wrote this song for his children. The lyrics focus on Jesus' birth and the significance to the world. It's been recorded by many artists, including the harmonic group Pentatonix. Martina McBride, Patti LaBelle, and Nat King Cole. To play this song, you'll use the chords D, G, and A7. Yes, that's right. There's just three chords. Of course, you can strum this 3-4 time signature song, but I'm a fan of playing this with a 3-4 picking pattern at about 112 beats per minute. If you'd like a quick refresher on tempo and using a metronome, jump back to the episode on August 11th, 2022. For these three songs, you can find the music online or you can find the links on my Thursday Tips blog. I hope these carols help to bring the spirit of Noel to your divine guitar playing. Don't forget to enter the December Gator Giveaway. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.